or good afternoon. It's my pleasure to, to talk to you about Microsoft Purview today. And Microsoft Purview has been rapidly growing in capability over the last year and that breadth and depth of the tool provides us with better capability uh, to manage data governance as well as that risk and compliance area. A little bit about myself. I'm the Data and AI Practice Lead at Cloud Direct. I'm a founder of Data Toboggan, and this is our set of Synapse and Fabric conferences. And we basically run three conferences a year. Uh, this winter conference, uh, we run one in the summer called Cool Runnings, and uh, a smaller session conference called Alpine Coaster in the autumn. And we've also recently started a podcast called Synapse Chat. Uh, I help a lot in the community and I'm a SQL Bits buddy and a helper at SQL Bits. Um, also on the board of directors of SQL Saturday and I have a real privilege to be that an MVP and I've been that for the last six years. Um, and for the love of research, I have a PhD in the management of database systems. I'm going to briefly cover Microsoft Purview growth, uh, data governance challenges, and uh, the Purview tools in Fabric. Microsoft Purview continues to evolve in capability and in the marketplace. There has been a rapid transition uh, through product names and configuration. In the last couple of years, the governance program began to evolve further into the governance program that we see today. Now, in September 2021, Microsoft Law launched Azure Purview, this cloud native data governance solution to enable organizations to discover, classify and map sort of data across um, on-premises, multi-cloud and SaaS data estates. Now, in April 22, Microsoft then announced this rename of Azure Purview, which became Microsoft Purview. And that integrated with Microsoft 365 compliance solutions to provide a holistic view of data security, governance and compliance across the organization. Now, at this point, there was two access points, a compliance portal and a data governance portal. Then a bit further on in May of 22, Microsoft unveiled this Microsoft uh, Intelligent Data Platform, a collective view really of data tools, bringing about that new wave of innovation and a change which Purview is a core part of. More changes followed with the announcement of Purview Hub in Microsoft Fabric in November uh, 23. And the Purview Hub is this centralized uh, place that helps fabric administrators and users manage and govern their fabric data estate and it provides uh, insights about sensitive data and item endorsement that's that sort of help those data consumers identify and find trustworthy high quality data items and that also serves as a gateway to those sort of more advanced capabilities in Microsoft Purview, governance and compliance portals. Then um, a few weeks later, um, the new Microsoft Purview portal uh, was announced. And as part of that new sort of Purview experience, that combines data governance, data security, and risk and compliance uh, solutions into that unified platform. Now, this new portal has a streamlined design and a unified experience that helps users discover and access data across their estate. Now that we have uh, that tool set in Purview to work with, we need to also think about the challenges of data governance that a business faces. And these sort of areas cover siloed data, duplicated data and data sprawl, um, those lack of data standards and policies, uh, poor data quality, 
Uh, the unknown data lineage, which makes troubleshooting hard. Uh, having no data sharing policies. Uh, maybe there's even poor data literacy. And there are many regulatory standards that, that are required to be maintained. Thus, the tools and the management side need to be brought together for successful outcomes. Now, Ladley talks about two sides of governance, those who manage and those who govern. So governance, making sure that information is managed properly and data management, managing data to achieving goals. So a way to address these data challenges is with a governance tool looking at data management. And Purview has two new portals that are in preview, that new Microsoft a Purview portal and the Purview Hub in Microsoft Fabric. And as you can see here, there's a full list of the suite of Microsoft Purview apps. Now, combining Microsoft Purview with Microsoft Fabric enables that immediate holistic picture and allows you to see insights about your Fabric data inside Fabric itself. Now, in Fabric, the data map is automatically provisioned and attached to every Fabric instant by default. And this requires no setup and you can browse and search for your Fabric items there. Now, based on your permission settings, you can also see workspaces and fabric items that you have access to automatically. Now, the Purview Hub in Fabric covers three main elements. Data management through the data map and data catalog. Data governance through that data discovery, that data estate health and data creation and security and compliance through information protection labels, data loss prevention and audit. Now, within the Purview Hub, there is a centralised page uh, which contains insights into inventory items, that sensitive data and endorsement, and that is identified uh, trustworthy data items. And the gateway links specifically to Microsoft Purview governance and compliance portals for apps such as that data catalog, information protection, data loss prevention and audit. And the Purview Hub has a view for fabric administrators and a view for other fabric users. And you can also access Microsoft Fabric items in the new Microsoft Purview portal, just like Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft Fabric is a new source uh, for the Microsoft Purview portal. So managing data governance for Fabric, we look at a few different elements. Uh, gaining understanding about the data estate and all those business domains, uh, discovering and understanding uh, sort of data items in the catalogue and looking at those uh, fabric metadata items. Also looking at how to monitor and improve the data state to improve that health of things. And then that general sort of data management of access and looking to improve data quality. Then on that security and compliance side, Fabric has those information protection labels that allows you to discover and classify and even protect uh, Fabric uh, data using those sensitivity labels. Then also there's that Microsoft uh, Purview data loss prevention side of things, which helps uh, uh, prevent risky or unauthorized use of sensitive data. And then there are, there are sort of uh, policies uh, that are currently only supported uh, within Fabric, and that's for the Power BI semantic models. And uh, looking at the audit side of things, all those user activities that are logged, and they're all available in the audit log. Now, I like the fact that Fabric auto attaches to Microsoft Purview and that provides uh, immediate benefits for people. And here you can see um, the list of governance and security features that are built into Fabric. So in conclusion, Microsoft Fabric was launched with the Purview Hub. 
enabling built in data governance to view your entire uh, analytics estate and monitor performance to make data driven capacity scale up decisions. Centralised data management to minimise data management uh, time and effort by unifying on one lake and applying settings for that entire tenant and that embedded security data residency requirements, that access control and that automated provisioning. So thank you for listening to my really brief introduction to Microsoft Purview in Fabric. Thank you.